And obviously the icing on the cake was AJ's superb victory, revenge victory, yeah. boxed incredibly well. Thoughts, as they often do, have already turned to the future for him, 2020. Will he fight two times? Will he fight three times? What do you think is going to happen? I think let's, let's see what happens. You know, is it was a big win for him to get in there also for, from a confidence perspective as well, you know, to come back from a loss. Um, I think we'll see, probably look to, I think he's looking to fight as, as many times as possible. Need to fit that in with the various schedules. Um, but, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens. There's a lot of... A lot of politics, you've obviously got the IBF mandatory, WBO mandatory, so just trying to figure everything out now and news soon. Who do you think, with your kind of boxing hat on, is the tougher challenge, Pulev or Usyk? Uh, I think Usyk, being completely open, you know, but I, th I think it would also be good for Usyk to have another fight at heavyweight as well, you know, he's only had the one fight against Chaz Witherspoon, um, and I think that grows into an even bigger fight as well. Um, so, but you know, Pulev's a tough test. Everyone in these top ten, you know, in these rankings, they're all tough tests. And at heavyweight boxing, as we've seen, anything can happen. So, I think one thing now he's focused for everyone and anyone in his way, which is uh, which is what he needs. Joshua tweeted recently about the, his main goal being to become the undisputed champion, as it has been for a long time. Has anything from the PBC Wilder camp given you any sort of impression that's closer than it was before? Uh, not yet. I think they're very focused, aren't they, on making that that February fight happen and apparently a trilogy as well so they're focused on that AJ was on Sky Sports News earlier saying that he'd happily spar Tyson Fury so uh, it'll be it'll be interesting to see if that actually happens in February it's supposed to be happening in February 22nd um, but yeah that, that's a big fight uh, probably for 2021 I guess not sure how good sparring AJ would be for Deontay Wilder I think they've got very different styles but I'm sure it was tongue-in-cheek offer anyway um, what did you make of Fury ditching or well, not ditching that's unfair on Ben Davison they're still friends but changing his trainer before what is now the most important fight of his life we don't really know the details do we so you know uh, I'm sure they seem to seem to still get on well so I'm sure everything's fine on that end between the two of them I'm sure he's made a decision that he's comfortable with and you know only he can be the one to say that so I can't really have a say on it. <laughs> you can, <laughs> but you're diplomatically choosing not to, which is absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, so just before we let you go, if AJ could have three fights next year rather than just the two, obviously we know Usyk and Pulev are at the front of the queue. Who would the other one be? Would it be Fury? Would it be Wilder? Someone else? It'd be a huge fight, wouldn't it? The undisputed fight to finish the year. It's a busy year though, three fights. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's got, it's got to be that one. I think that's on his mind now is to make the undisputed fight. So if they've got a trilogy, that will take them through, I guess, until later in 2020 for their, their second fight and third fight. Um, so yeah, we'll see. Hopefully we can make that fight happen finally. Brilliant. Frank, we thank you for your time and best Thanks, of luck mate. on Thursday night. Cheers, mate.